Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you an example using tweens to create these rising platforms. And we're going to put all these parts inside of a single folder with a single script to make everything super easy. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is insert a folder into the game. So go ahead and click on Workspace and then the plus sign next to it. And then we're going to be inserting a folder. After we do that, we're going to be creating our platform parts. So I'm just going to keep things simple and use a cylinder. Once you have the first part styled, then you're going to go ahead and add it to the folder by clicking and dragging. We're going to start with just one part. And once we see that it's working, we're going to add the other parts. So what we're going to do is add a script inside this folder. First, we're going to make a variable for the folder. So we'll say local folder. And that's going to be equal to script dot parent. Next, we're going to be using a for loop to go through all the different objects in the folder and apply a tween to the parts. To do that, we're going to say for underscore comma, and then I'm going to say platform. This part is not super important. You can choose a different name for it as long as you're consistent throughout the script. After platform, I'm going to say in pairs. Inside the parentheses is going to be folder colon get children. So that's going to get all the objects inside the folder. What we're going to do with those objects is first check to make sure it's a part. We can check to see if it's a part by saying if and then platform. So platform is going to stand for whichever object we're currently on. To see if it's a part, we're going to say colon is a. Inside the parentheses, I'm going to put base part. If it's a base part, then we're going to create a tween and apply it to that part. We're going to start with the tween info. So we'll say local and then tween info. And that's going to be equal to tween info dot new. To be able to use tweens, we need to create a variable for the tween service. So up top here, we'll say local and then tween service. And that's going to be equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put tween service. So back down here now, we're going to put parentheses and then drop down a line. The first property is going to be the time. I'm actually going to set this to a random time by saying math dot random. And then I'm going to choose the amount of time between three seconds and 10. And what that's going to do for us is going to stagger the platform. So they're not all rising and falling at the same time. After that property, we're going to set the easing style. So that's going to be enum dot easing style. I'm just going to keep it a consistent speed by saying linear. Next, we're going to set the easing direction. So that's going to be enum dot easing direction. For that one, I'm going to choose out. To make this repeat forever, I'm going to use negative one for the repeat count. For reverse, I'm going to say true. And then for delay time, I'm going to say zero. OK, after we create the tween info, we're going to create the tween itself. So we'll say local tween. And it's going to be equal to tween service. Colon create. The first part is the object we want to tween. So that's going to be platform. After that, we're going to pass the tween info. So that one should match our variable name up here. So these two should match. And finally, the property that we're going to be changing, and that's going to be the position. And we're going to set that equal to the original position. So that's going to be platform dot position. And then we're going to add a vector to that. So we're going to say plus and then vector three dot new. And the part that we want to change is the vertical part. So that's going to be zero. Let's choose 10 for the vertical part, the Y, and then zero for the last part. And down below that line, the last thing we need to do is play the tween by saying tween colon and play. All right, and that's it. So we're not going to have to insert a script into each individual part because we're using that for loop to go through all the different objects and apply a tween to each one. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure it works for a single part, and then we'll add some more parts to it. OK, so we can see it's going up and down, but it's acting kind of crazy. The reason for that is I didn't anchor this part. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So to fix that, I'm just going to click on the part and then anchor it. Let's give that another shot and much better. So we have a smooth motion going up and down. Now that we see it's working for the single part, we can add more parts to it. To add more parts to this folder, start by selecting the first one. If you want them to be evenly spaced, you can go up to the model tab and then choose a stud for the move section. So if you want these to be 15 studs apart, you can choose 15. 
Since I'm not very good at obbies, I'm going to go ahead and stick with 10. Once you have it set for whatever you want the move value to be, go ahead and create a copy of this part by using Control D, and then you can move them, and it automatically spaces them out. So to create another part, I'm just going to do Control D again, and then drag it over. And you can do this for however many parts you want. If this is going to be really long, you can select a couple of different parts. So I'm going to select all these parts. I'll use Control D, and then I'll use the right arrow to move them. And there we go. And we don't have to do anything extra with the script. It's going to apply for every single part inside the folder. All the parts are moving, and you can see they're moving at different speeds. P is inside the tween info. For the time section, we set it to a random number between 3 seconds and 10 seconds. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.